Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Israelites who have lost the truth and understanding that they are the Jews. I'm going to show you that right now. Matthew chapter 4, verse 15. Two of the tribes of Israel is mentioned right here. I want you to tell me what they're called. Matthew 4, verse 15. This is the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 15. The land, the land of Zebulun. The land of Zebulun. That's one of the tribes of Israel. And the land of Naphtali. And the land of Naphtali. That's another tribe of Israelites. By the way, by the way of sea, beyond Jordan, the rail, and of the Gentiles. Galilee of the Gentiles. Why were they calling Zebulon and Naphtali Gentiles? Because they started to lose their identity. That's the curse. Give me that in Isaiah 65. Let me show you what would happen. Isaiah 65, I believe, is verse 15. Write this down. Isaiah 65, verse 15. Isaiah 65, 15. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. And they shall leave your name for a curse. And you shall leave your name for a curse. Unto my chosen, and the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. And call his servants by another name. We have lost the name of Israel today. Who gave us the name Sierra Leone? Who gave us the name Haitians? Who gave us the name Jamaicans? African American? Who put those names on us? The white man. That's right. God says you're Judah of the nation of Israel. God says you're Benjamin of the nation of Israel. But we left that. Read it again. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse 15. Read slow. Read slow. And they shall leave your name for a curse. And you shall leave your name that God gave you for what? For a curse, for a curse, and unto my chosen, and for for the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. God slayed us in slavery, and called his servants now by another name. That's why you call yourself Sierra Leone, African American, uh, Haitian American, uh, uh, West Indian. We've all been renamed. Give me that in John 7 verse 35. Now, watch what Christ said about the Gentiles. Let's see who he's calling Gentiles. John 7 verse, is it 35 or 38? 35. 35. This is the book of John chapter 7 verse 35. And said. No, it doesn't say and, it's then. Then said, the Jews among themselves. Then said the Jews among themselves. Whither will he go? That's. We shall not find him. Where will Christ go that we cannot find him? Will he go unto the dispersed? Will he go unto the dispersed? Among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? The first thing you need to understand, the word dispersed means the scattered. Now what is it calling the dispersed? Read that part again. Will he go? Will he go? Will he go? That we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? He's calling the dispersed the Gentiles. The Gentiles. John James 1 and 1. The word dispersed means scattered. You might not know the history of the Bible, but let me show it to you. James 1 verse 1. James chapter 1 verse 1. This is the book of James chapter 1 verse 1. 
James, the servant of God, of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. How was our people scattered from Sierra Leone to America? How? Did we just willingly get on a boat and go over there? How were we scattered? Uh, maybe we have been forced. Maybe how? we have been forced. How? Slavery. What? Slavery. 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 Yeah. That's how we were scattered. They took your sons and daughters, sent them to America, the Caribbean islands, and that's a prophecy on us. Deuteronomy 4, 27, right? Hold that up. Get Deuteronomy uh, 6, I mean Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. What would happen to the Israelites? So when we, when we left from Africa to these lands, they renamed us. They called us by new names. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among the, all people. And the Lord shall scatter you among all people. Let me tell you something because you might not know. They sent slaves from Africa to India. And those black men that look like us speak an Indian language. And they call themselves the CD Indians. But are they really Indians? No! They're the sons and daughters that came from here. So we are commanded to gather them back. This is about world domination. Jesus Christ is our king. We will rule all nations on the earth. Understand that. This ain't for the fearful. If you're weak and scared, run back to the white man. This is about nationhood. Nation time. Read that again. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth unto another, unto other, and the other thou shalt read slow. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And there you shall serve other gods which neither thy father have known. Which none of your fathers have known. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. Let me ask you this. They sent some of our sons and daughters to Iran and Iraq. What god do they serve in Iran and Iraq? Iran and Iran mm -hmm. is Allah. Okay. The ones here. Hope we're getting into something right now. In Yemen and Libya today, many brothers from Sierra Leone have gone to Libya, Libya, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan. What are they doing to our brothers and sisters there? Do you know? Afghanistan. They are humiliating them. Illuminating them. Humiliating them. Oh, humiliating them. Humiliating them, right. They're selling them as slaves. Right. Who are we talking about now? The Arabs. So the white man is not the only wicked nation that's against us. The Arabs have hated our guts. They rape our mothers and sisters in Yemen, Afghanistan, and Saudi Arabia. And nobody wants to talk about it. But we're the sons of God. We're going to talk about it. That's right. A lot of you that grew up as Muslim, you, don't, you might not know what they're doing. The evil they're doing to us. But we know what they're doing. And we're going to speak about it. Give me that in Jeremiah 3 and 2. Jeremiah 3 verse 2. God talks about the Arabs. They're not going to escape. All you the Arab lovers out here. Come on. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 2. Bring us up the eyes into the high places. I want you to read slow. Read it again. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 2. Lift up the eyes into the high places. Lift up your eyes into the high places, meaning the countries. And see where thou hast not been leaning with. And see where thou hast not been lean with. The word lean means polluted or corrupted. See who has not corrupted you as a people. In thy words, as thou. Wait, 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 wait. I want him to hear this. I want you to hear it. In the, in the way, has thou sat from thee as Read it, read it right. In the way, in the ways as thou. Sat for thee as the Arabians in the wilderness. Who did we sit for? As the Arabians in the wilderness. As the Arabians. They polluted us. They corrupted us. They raped us. They castrated us. To castrate means they cut your penis off. That's what they was doing. To That's what they do to this day. Your sons over in Yemen have no penis. They cut it off. That's what they do. Right there. Hold right there, right there, right there. Come on, right here. Hold, hold it up. So it ain't just about the white man being wicked. The Arabs have destroyed us. The Arabs beat us over in Yemen and Saudi Arabia. The Arabs did this to us to this very day. This is for you Muslim lovers out there. Oh, I love the Arabs. You love the Arabs? Are you crazy? They hate our guts. They despise us just like the white man. A lot of you are Christian. The white man hates our guts too. This is why they changed the color of Jesus. This is why they changed the colors of the prophets. 
Let me show you that song of Solomon 1 and 5. Song of Solomon chapter 1 verse 5. Watch this. Y'all heard of King Solomon? Yeah. King Solomon was a black man. King of the Jews. King of the Israelites. This is the song of Solomon chapter 1 verse 5. I am black but scumly. I am black and handsome. Read it again. I am black but scumly. Who sang this? Verse 1. This is the songs of Solomon chapter 1 verse 1. The songs of songs, which is Solomon. Solomon said he's black. You ain't learned that in church. You didn't learn that in Christianity. You didn't learn that in Islam. Why? Because they're all keeping the secrets from you. That's right. And you that's think right. these nations yeah, love them. They don't right. love that's you. Right. They that's want right. your woman that's as right. it, but they don't love you. Let's get another prophet. Name me a prophet. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21. Sure. What does the prophet Jeremiah look like? Let's see. I don't know. Jeremiah 8, verse 21. Come on. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 21. For the heart of the daughters, the daughter of my people, I have heard. I am black. Astonishment has taken hold of me. What did he say? For the heart of daughters of my people, I have heard. I am black. I am what? I am black. I am what? I am black. Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah said, I am black. You're not going to learn that in church. You ain't going to learn that in Islam. Give me another prophet. Give me another one. Job. Give me Job chapter 30. Y'all heard of the prophet Job? What did he look like? Job chapter 30. All these nations despise us. Why? Because we're the sons and daughters of God. We're the Israelites, so they hate us. This is the book of Job chapter 30 verse 30. My skin is black upon what? me. What? Wait, wait, what? My skin is black upon me. Job said my skin is black upon me. You know, I heard a Christian say, oh, that's not talking about his skin. It's his, how he feels inside. I said, excuse me, Mr. White Man. I can read now. Read it again. My skin is... My skin. Do y'all know what skin is? My skin. So this ain't talking about his feelings. It says his skin. My skin is black upon me. My skin is black upon me. So what do you mean you don't know what the prophets look like? They're recorded as black men looking like you and me, you and me, you and me, that's you right, and me. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's what right. about the prophet Moses? Some of you don't realize, where did, where did Moses grow up? Moses grew up huh? in Egypt. Where is Egypt? Egypt is Africa. So why, did, why do they have Moses as a white man? <laughs> Give me that in uh, uh, Exodus chapter 2. Exodus chapter 2, I think it's verse 16. No, I don't want 4. I want chapter 2. Exodus. What did Moses look like? Come up close so I can look at it. Go to Exodus chapter 2. And let me see verse 16. Listen good. This is the book of Exodus. Wait, let Isaac read. I need this to be clear. Exodus 2, 16. Get some water. I know you're hot. Exodus chapter 2, verse 16. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters. The priest of Midian had seven daughters. And they came and drew water and filled the throws to water their father's flocks. And the shepherds came and drove them away. So you had shepherds come to take away the flocks of the daughters. But Moses stood up and helped them. But Moses came to help these women. And watered their flock. And when they came to Ruel, their father, he said, how is it that, that ye are come so soon today? So the seven daughters went to their father, and the father asked them, How is it that you finished feeding the flock so quickly? And they said, An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds. What did they think Moses was? An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds. They thought Moses was Egyptian. But Moses was an Israelite. That's telling you his color. The real Egyptians are black. And not any black, dark, dark black. Y'all understand that? So Moses was a black man. Jeremiah was a black man. Solomon was a black man. Jesus is a black man. What about Paul, the Apostle Paul? Acts 21. They got paintings all throughout Sierra Leone of Paul as a white man. Let's see if that fits the Bible. Acts 21, verse 37. What did Paul look like? Acts 21, verse 37. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? So Paul wanted to speak to the chief captain. He said to the chief captain, Can I speak to you? Who said, Canst thou speak Greek? The chief captain said to Paul, Can you speak Greek? 
Art not thou that Egyptian? Aren't you that what? Egyptian. They thought Paul was an Egyptian. Which before these days made us an uproar and led us out into the wilderness 4,000 men that were murderers? But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarsus. Paul said, I'm not Egyptian, I'm a Jew. So what does that prove? The Jews look like the Egyptians. The same color, black. So the Bible's telling you, give me that Acts 13 and 1. Colors all in the Bible. Stop listening to these colonial Christians. That's what I like to call them. These colonists out there. Acts 13 and 1. Acts 13 verse 1. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets. Certain prophets. And teachers. And teachers. As Barnabas. And Simeon that was called Nigger. That was called, sometimes they pronounce N-I-G-E-R, Niger, or Niger. Anybody know what that word N-I-G-E-R means? It, huh? Right, Negro, black. That's what it means. Like, the, it's the root of the word Nigeria, or the Niger River. You heard it all? It means black. It's Latin. It means black. Read it again. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simeon that was called nigger, and Lucius of Cyrene. So the prophets were all black. Watch what Jesus said in Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Watch this. Watch what Jesus said about the tricksters that were called. When was Sierra Leone colonized? Give me the years. Who knows the years out here? Between what to what? When did the white man come here? You what? 1961. No, that's your independence. When were you colonized? In the 1800s, right? Okay, very good, thank you. Watch this. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. Think about colonialism under the Berlin Conference of 1884. The Dutch took a part of Africa. The Spanish took a part of Africa. Italians took a part of Africa. The Dutch, the English, the British, and they all came with these images and said they are Christ. Yes. This is why, and none of you, hold that up. How many of you men challenge that image? You don't say to the white man, prove that's in the Bible. But you challenge us, your brothers. But that's okay. We can prove that Jesus is black. But no man, no woman can prove Jesus is a white man. Not nail one of you. So why do you believe this? Because the white man said so. You think the white man is what? God. He don't got to prove nothing to you. He just thinks he's white and you go, yes, Jesus is white. And we said, prove it, brother. I can't the white man said so. I just believe it. That's called drugs. That's worse than drugs. You know what drugs are? got drugs out here? Christianity is worse than drugs. It's like crack. Because you will believe something with no evidence, no biblical verification. That's drugs. That's witchcraft. You heard of voodoo? The white man got the ultimate voodoo. His voodoo's strong. He'll put this on TV and you believe it. He'll find the actor that looks like this and you believe it with no doubt. Bible reference. Give me that Revelation 1. So Jesus said, take heed that no man deceive you. Have we been deceived as a people? Yes. All of us. We've all been deceived. Now it's wake up time. These are the end times. It's time to wake up. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His, the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white like wool. Wool is Afro hair. Afro hair. Black people hair. The Bible, what is the Bible describing? Jesus Christ. As white as snow. He had fully white hair. Hold that. Hey, 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 hold that one up too. Next to it. You got hold that other one up. No, 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 no. Hold, no, 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 not that no, one. No, no. I want this. Yes, yes, yes. Hold both of them up. We can read now, at least the majority of us can read. Let's read the Bible description again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Wool is Afro hair. His, the hair on his head and the hair on his face is white like wool. This don't got no white wool hair. This ain't Afro hair. This is straight thin hair. Look at this. That's not wool hair. Read. 
As white as snow. As white as snow. That ain't white hair. That ain't white hair. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes like a flame of fire because Christ drank wine. Genesis 49, 12 tells you to read. And his feet. And his feet. Like I'm looking at this brother's feet right here. Your feet is the same color as your arms and your face, right? Yes. Read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass. Brass is brown. As if they burned it in a furnace. So Christ was so black, so dark skinned, he looked like he burned in a furnace. That describes this. That does not fit this. What are we reading? The Bible. You need to challenge these Christian ministers out here lying to you, taking your money. Who goes to church out here? Anybody go to church and pay tithes? Yes. Oh, oh, that guy in the back. He, you do that too? You send all your money to a lying preacher, preaching about that garbage. Don't, you should be angry. My mother spent half her money given to this lie. And I said, Mom, that's not in the Bible. Why are you making the family broke? We had no money, because she gave every penny to the lying preacher. These ministers are wicked as hell. Now it's wake up time. We, our king looks like us. Do y'all realize we're the only nation that serves a God? Put that down. That does not look like us. Give me that Jeremiah. Chinese got a Chinese God. East Indian got an Indian God. White man got a white God. Arabs got an Arab God. But the black man and black woman, you got a white God. You see that wrong with that? Drugs, witchcraft. Jeremiah 2. You know what I want? Jeremiah 2 verse 11. Half a nation changed their gods. Half a nation changed their gods? Which are yet no gods? Which are yet no gods? You changed your gods to that garbage. But my people. But my people, the Israelites, have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. You changed your glory to this garbage right here. Now, if you ever see a white man come from the sky looking like that, get ready for slavery again. Just get ready for so you're going back into chains. But God does not look like that. The devil looked like that. Hey, how many people, y'all see that yellow hair right here? Y'all see yellow hair, right? Yellow hair, you see it? Let me show what the Bible says about yellow hair. Some of your sisters like to, do you see the dyed in hair yellow women? What, what the Bible says about yellow hair, Leviticus 13. Let me see, where is it? I point to it so I can see. Where? 31? Yes. Let me look. 30 verse, start at 29. 20, Leviticus 13 verse 29. If a man or woman have a plague upon the head or the beard. If a man or woman have a plague, meaning a curse, on your head or your beard. Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin. Listen good. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. Yellow thin hair is yellow straight hair. Yellow thin hair is yellow straight hair. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. You're unclean. It is a dry skull, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. God says this is leprosy. This is leprosy. So Jesus didn't have yellow hair. But all your ministers say, oh, Jesus had yellow hair. Yellow hair is a curse. Yellow hair is leprosy. What are we reading? The Bible. The holy book. And you've never read the book until now. You're learning more Bible right now than you will in your whole life. Your ministers ain't going to show you nothing that we're teaching you. They're going to hide the truth. Why? Because these ministers, listen to what I'm about to say, they are agents of Britain, Spain, and America. Agents to keep you from the truth. Understand what I'm saying to you. Y'all don't realize the predicament we're all in. This is war. War for the souls of our people. We must wake up before the Lord comes back because he's coming. And he's going to come back black as hell and mad. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.